ChatGPT recently released some new updates that I think you're gonna find really useful. One of them just got released a few days ago. And the two other ones that I wanna cover in this video got released within the last month that I think are very useful too. So the first one I wanna show you is inside of your profile picture right on top of ChatGPT, there's an option over here called Customize GPT. This option has been here for a while, but they completely redesigned it and made it a lot more useful. And I'll just kind of go through it with you here and I'll copy and paste some of this in the description of the video. So if you want to copy what I have, you'll be able to copy it exactly the way I have it inside of my chat GPT account. So the very first thing it says up here is what should I call you? So if you want your name, my name is Saj, so I'm gonna include that here. If you want your name included, just add that. What do you do for work? If this is applicable to you, you could put that here. What traits should ChatGPT have? So this one has been around for a while, but they've given you some new options down here if you're not sure exactly what to put. So I've created this set of instructions for mine, again, that I'll include below. But some of my favorite parts of this is use simple and clear language, avoid complex vocab, write as if you're having a conversation with a friend. I really like this one. Include personal touches, use phrases like I'll show you or let's explore because I use this for a lot of content type of work. So I wanted to talk like me. So that's another thing I found useful. Organize your content, break your text into clear, concise paragraphs. There's another one here too I really like. Include actionable steps. Just like the text provided, five custom instructions ensure your writing includes clear, actionable steps. So you could pick and choose from this list over here, but what they included recently is you could just click on some of these and it will add a set of instructions here. So for example, forward thinking, take a forward thinking view. So you could just add that or encouraging, use an encouraging tone. If I click this, I'm gonna get a different list, respectful. So you could pick and choose from these or what I have over here. And then every time you start a new chat, as long as down here it says enable new chat is turned on to green, every new chat will have this set of instructions and it will make it a lot, lot easier for you to use ChatGPT if you haven't been using this already. I've been using a version of this, but now I wanna incorporate some of these other ones into it too. Then down here, it says anything else ChatGPT should know about you. So you could tell it if you're doing this for a very specific business, I told it about Skill Leap, which is our online e-learning platform and exactly what it is. And then under the advanced section here, you could also choose if you want to deactivate some of these ChatGPT capabilities. So if you don't want Canvas, for example, if you never use it, or if you don't want it to search the web, so it would actually give you responses from its own training data or your knowledge base that you're gonna to upload to it, go ahead and turn that off. So it really depends on your use case. For general purpose, I typically have everything turned on though, if this is gonna be enabled for every new chat, which in my case is going to be, and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. So customizing ChatGPT at the account level, if you haven't done it already, it's a great time with that new redesign of that setting. Now, the second one I wanna cover is something that came out about a month ago. This is called Projects. So with Projects, you can press the plus sign on the left side of ChatGPT and organize the different types of chats you have inside of a very specific project. So I've created one called Notebook LM course, a course I'm creating right now. And what's really interesting about these projects is Claude has the exact same thing. Over there, they're called Claude projects on the Claude website. So they took exactly almost the same thing here. But what it could do is you could add these project files. So these could be your own documents. So I included the entire transcript for that course over here. And you could have multiple documents in here. And then on this box, you could give it a very specific set of instructions. So these work similar to those instructions you're giving to ChatGPT at the account level, but now you're giving it at the project level and you could have multiple different projects for different things that you're doing. So a really simple one was keep it short and focused, but you could again, take the ones I had in the custom instructions at the account level and add them over here for this very specific project. And now you could have any chat like you would with ChatGPT, but it's gonna be able to pull in from this project directory. Now this is very similar if you attach files, but this keeps it organized and contained within this project and follows the set of instructions just for this project. So a lot more useful than doing this at the account level if you're doing this for specific tasks. So I'm gonna ask you, what's the key point of this course? It has the entire transcript of the course in this case. You gave me a quick summary, and then I could ask it to give it to me in bullet point format, help me create a study guide. 
I prefer to actually use Notebook LM for this very specific use case because with Notebook LM, you could give the 50 different types of sources across all kinds of different things like YouTube videos, audio files, PDFs, and then have that kind of interaction with it. But if you're not using other tools and you're just using ChatGPT, this is a really good tool to be able to have contained projects with set of instructions with a very specific knowledge base for that. So I recommend using these projects if you are not using a different tool. Also, if you're on the wait list for the Notebook LM course, I've been working on this for the last couple months. It's coming out exactly in seven days next week. So I'll put a link in the description to the wait list for this. And this is gonna be about 27, 28 different videos, individual tutorials, and with resources and things like that for using Notebook LM. And I think when it comes to interacting with your own data, with your own knowledge base, Notebook LM is by far the best tool for that. That's why I made a dedicated course for it. Now, the last one on my list is called tasks. What tasks is, is a reminder function inside of ChatGPT. So it could remind you daily, weekly, or just one time of something. Now, at first I thought, well, I already have a reminder app. It comes on my Mac already. So why would I need a reminder app? But then I found some really practical applications here that I wanted to show you. Now I'll show you some of these examples, but to create them, all you have to do is just go to ChatGPT. Now on the drop down inside of ChatGPT, you do need the plus plan right now or the Teams or ChatGPT Pro plan, what I have here, to be able to access this right now while it's in beta, but it's supposed to get released widely after beta. But if you click this, you could ask it to remind you of something, okay? So remind me to go to gym every day at eight. Okay, and then it creates this task that looks like this, and then you could always edit it from here. But that is just like a reminder. But what really makes it useful is being able to use the chat GPT function and search the web and get reminders that are more timely. So let me show you some of mine. Okay, inside of tasks, this one is one of my favorites. Send me AI news. I'll click on the pencil icon to show you. Send me the news each day, but focus only on AI. So at first I only had this one, send me the news each day. And then you could set the time, so 8 a.m. And then you could decide if it's daily, weekly, monthly, annually, or you could set a custom time as well. Or you could set it to be not repeating, just a one-time event over here. I find these to be useful on a repeating basis. And this is what it's done for me now. If I go to this one, it's created this chain of messages every single day. And it literally sends me five of the top AI news of that day. And it's been very practical. It shows me the sources too, if I wanna dive deeper. So this was the one from yesterday. And now that I have it for pretty much every day I've been using this for, now I could ask the chat to repurpose the entire week's news into my newsletter, right? I send out a weekly newsletter and it has a news portion. It's not fully focused on the news. It's mostly focused on AI education, but it has a news component. Well, this takes care of pretty much all of that for me. If for seven days, each day I got five, so I have 35 news pieces to actually go through and pick from that and then have it compile something more useful for me through chat. So I like this, it sends me an email every day. Let me show you some other options. So if you keep track of any type of stock, well, maybe every day you wanna get an email when the market opens, search for the current stock price of Tesla, Apple, Nvidia, and it will send you either a push notification. So if you have that set on your phone, on the ChatGPT app on your phone or your computer, or it sends you a daily email. And you could always pause these at any time because I think it's gonna get overwhelming <laughs> that I'm getting this many email at different times of the day. I usually try to keep my inbox much more clean than that. So this one says, write a practical AI tip tweet that I can just copy and paste every day at one, okay? So this one already went to action, this one I recently made. And here's one, unlock the power of AI for your business. Start small with automating repetitive tasks with ChatGPT and Zapier. So I, I make a lot of Zapier videos, so great tip here. And he also gave me hashtags. Real simple, I could just copy and paste it and this will come to my chat and to my inbox every single day. The inbox email actually links back to ChatGPT. So you won't get this in your inbox, but it links back to this chat right over here. And I have some on the weekly basis, like send me movie trailers. I have one for finding activities daily near me to see what's going on around me if I wanted to go do something that is timely. So you could see there are some practical use cases, which I think a lot of people didn't realize when this came out. Some people really overhyped it as AI agents are here to take over the world. Well, these are not quite AI agents. A little bit of a reminder with the power of ChatGPT. 
to take care of some searches for you, but I wouldn't call these AI agents just yet. Again, if you wanna copy and paste some of those instructions, I have them pasted in the description below this video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.